Part of 101 Films' Black Label range is Screamers, which was released in 1995, is based on a short story by Philip K. Dick, and was a movie that I discovered on VHS. And it is a little bit dated, but it has such good, uh, mostly, effects and ideas and execution that it's still a worthwhile check out. Now, we're thrown into this futuristic world where there has been a battle over some newly discovered mineral and we are thrown to this mining planet where we have faction A and faction B who are kind of battling it out over said mineral and have been doing so for the last 10 years. And we follow Peter Weller's character of Henriksen who is the leader of faction A when one day he receives an emissary from faction B saying that they want to you know, have peace, they want to stop this needless fighting and as they're both stuck on this giant uh, planet they may as well just make friends and, and stop all that. But of course we are introduced in a bloody fashion to Screamers which are these automated AI defence robots that are, our majority of them are work underground uh, as kind of hunting down and killing anything that moves pretty much. And throughout the movie we discover that these things have been automated. They can create themselves, they can fix themselves, they can make themselves better. And that's as we discover that these screamers have kind of ran out of control and are starting to take over this planet and decimating the armies and just kind of killing everybody at whim. And you get this post-apocalyptic world that looks grand, that looks destroyed and lived in. It was filmed in a quarry and has that kind of nice aesthetic round about it. It was also filmed in a concrete factory and it has these big monolithic uh, sets that really do add a great sense of depth and perception to the movie. It makes it feel bigger than it probably was. And you get the story of a man who is thrown in with these group of people who none that he really knows there could be infiltrators in amongst them, there could be screamers in amongst them and they are just trying to survive, get from one place to another, find more survivors and try and get the hell off this planet if they possibly can. And it's wonderfully lo-fi in the way that it does its science fiction. You know, it feels a very grunt work, you know, like alien, it's lived in, it's tangible, it's not clean and clinical, it feels like a kind of workman-like environment that these people are having to be going through. You meet the survivors, the people who are severely damaged by this world that they live in, they have those little kinks and, and, and twitches and, and things that just put them off centre, so you're never too sure if any of these people are going to snap at any moment, if they're going to attack or if they're, they're violent individuals to have lived this long in this world. And Peter Weller is wonderful. He is that kind of heroic figure who just doesn't give a damn at the best of times, who knows how to survive and is just wanting to get the lay of the land um, before figuring out what his next steps are going to be. Um, and, and the idea of the screamers themselves are really well executed mostly. You get the ones that are underground which are all kind of practically effects. You get some stop motion in this. You get some alright CG and then you get some damn, damn awful CG. But again, because of the time uh, when this was made, that kind of adds a really good aesthetic to the movie. Something that makes it really fun to kind of lean into going, oh that's so bad it's enjoyable kind of thing. But that's not to say the movie's like that. The movie is rather fun. You get to see this uh, group of people pushed to the limit, trying to survive. It's exciting. It has action set pieces. It is tense and suspenseful when it has to be. And it is bloody when it has to be as well. Uh, one of the screamers turns out to be something that would normally be quite ineffective. You know, something that would, you'd be, wouldn't be expecting. Uh, to, to attack you and there are swarms of them later on and to see this kind of innocence uh, that's turned into a war machine it's a nice little thematic behind it it's a wonderful uh, visceral image when you see it on screen uh, I really enjoyed going back to Screamers it was one that I, I, I found myself getting drawn into the more it got on once we get to the part of Peter 
uh, well are on his mission starting to explore this world it became a much better film far more interesting and one that I really really enjoyed the disc is loaded with special features which I won't go into just now but let's be said that there's some nice talking head pieces in this that I, I particularly liked where they asked some really kind of uh, interesting questions that, that got some really good answers and it's well worth checking out another great film a throwback to the 90s that for once really kind of held up in my memory it, it's never been a great movie in my memory but it was always one that I enjoyed and again we get down to that it's not great but it's fun to watch it's not one I watch a lot but I will see myself come back to this again to revisit it love to know your thoughts on Screamers and I'm really curious if anybody has seen the sequel I haven't is it worth checking out or is it another VOD piece of trash let me know in the comment box and we'll see you next time Man V Film